Hey guys, my name is Fuzzy Cub and welcome back to Vault Hunters SMP. So I want to try something a little bit new on my videos. I want to start each video with a question of the day. Because I want to get to know you guys a little bit better. Also, I'm a nosy little bear. So let's start off with today's question of the day. How long have you played Minecraft for? And which version is your favorite? And I'll answer first. I started playing 1.8. I think it was 1.8 that I started playing in. And to date, my favorite version is 1.16 because it added the completely new nether. And despite me dying quite a lot, I do actually like the nether a lot. So in the comments below, leave your answer. I would love to hear from you guys. So I have been a busy little beaver off camera doing some vaults because we needed Echo to finally make our crafting terminal. And I regret to tell you guys, I only have six out of the eight Echo that I need. But, but, but our good friend Hellfire Mage has offered to give us two Echo Gems. Now I'm not sure what he's going to need in return. But you know, we don't have a soul to sell, so uh, let's just pop over and see what he wants. He's staring at the orb again. <laughs> My microphone was muted. <laughs> I just came over and I saw you staring at the orb. The orb is love, the orb is life. The orb demands blood. Uh, who said that? <laughs> um, I am in the middle of making an echo fog. Um, fog, uh, woo to die, and Benny a Titan Laramar, isn't it? Woo to, because I think I'm making the same thing you want. I want a crafting terminal. Oh, badly. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what I, I was waiting to get the uh, echo fog from the trader, but I've done like 40 trades and not got another one, so. Yeah. I'm just. So, it's uh, like a two percent chance. So, do do you have two spare echo gems? I I do. I have two spare. And what echo do you gems. want for these two spare echo gems? I don't know. What have you got to trade? Not a whole lot, to be honest. <laughs> I can give you a pickering. I have one. Okay. I just I just pulled. Um, one. I can um, give you eight spawn eggs. <laughs> how about we just call it an IOU? Oh, owing you, owing you something is is very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, the crafting terminal is really nice. Yeah, so. yeah. Like I said earlier, if I had a soul, I would sell it to get it. But you know, well, the, you you've come pretty close. <laughs> that makes me feel so in danger. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh. you'll you will be fine. I will. Uh, I will not extort you too much. Too much. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, well, I'm 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 um, gonna go improve my life immensely now. <laughs> all right. Thanks Have for fun. the echoes. No problem. Bye. Bye. Oh, I somehow feel like we've made a huge mistake just there, but we need the we really need the terminal. <laughs> okay. So, what do we need to, to make the terminal? We need the calculation processor, the terminal, an echo pog, and a crafting table. Okay. Now we have a crafting terminal. Oh, finally, the crafting terminal. Woohoo, <laughs> yes! Thank you, Hell. So, now that we have the crafting terminal, we have run into another issue. So I've made a second disk drive, but as you can see, these fill up really, really, really fast. And I did realize that uh, making the 4K disk drive is just, there's zero point in it. So the answer is drawers. We need to unlock the storage drawer mod. So uh, I think I have three knowledge stars in here. I was saving all the knowledge stars up to unlock Batania, but I think getting the it would help if I had my microphone in front of my face. But I think getting a storage shore mod is a little bit more important. So let's num num num. And let us unlock drawers. 
Mm, nice. The other thing I should probably unlock is pretty pipes, but not just yet. For now, we need to get into drawers. And the one I want to unlock, or the one I want to build, is are these frame drawers. Which is basically just any drawer surrounded by a few sticks. Yeah, that's easy enough. Which is a chest, two beniotite, and wood. So let's grab a few of these, okay. Six is all good for now. And then a framed drawer, which is... That's six of those. And the way you use the frame drawers are like so. You can actually do it in this small crafting inventory. So you put your frame drawer in the bottom right hand corner. This one here is the front. So you can see that's this part. This part here is to trim. No, it's the outside, sorry. This is the trim. And then this is the outside. So you can change every aspect of your drawer See? That on the front. So I think this is the kind of one that we're going to be using. Let's put it down and have a look. Yeah, yeah, that, that really matches the... Hmm, actually. Or does it? Let's try with the metamorphic, yeah, metamorphic tiger stone. Oh, tiger stone. Marble brick and marble front. Let's try with this one. So, trim, trim, front, outside. Yeah, I think that one looks better. I think we'll go with that design. So I am going to craft up a bunch of these and I'll get back to you when I have that done. So a smidgen of crafting later and we have 30 frame drawers. Now the other thing we need is a drawer controller. But we don't need it, but it makes drawers much, much easier to use and you can also integrate it into your a applied energistics system. So for that, we're going to need a drawer controller, which is this guy. And we do need two pogs, which I think we already have. Okay, so that is our drawer controller made. I think we can actually turn that into a yeah, we can turn it into a frame drawer controller easily enough. Here we go. And this is the exact same. We just put the trim on here, the front on, and the brick around the side. So now we have a drawer controller that matches everything. So the way this works, I will just put this down and show you guys quickly. Let's say in here is metamorphic tiger stone, in here is marble, and in here is marble brick. So if you look at my hotbar there, you'll see I have a few stacks of things. And because I have these three things in here, if I double right click on this controller, all of it goes in. So this basically is like a, a, a master for all of the drawers. It controls all of them. And as far as I remember, I might need to look that up, but I believe it's a 12 by 12 radius around this drawer controller that actually counts as being part of one big system. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to remove this wall and I am going to install a bunch of drawers. And I think I can actually use a, a storage bus on the drawer controller and set that as a higher priority. And that will put all of the stuff into the drawers first rather than into our drives so for example i can put stone in here and all of the we have like thousands of stone yeah all of this stone will first go into one of the storage drawers rather than into the storage drives and that will save us an awful lot of space in our storage system what in sweet baby jeebus is that that sounds like the guy of spirit music from batania I bet CWG is fighting it now. Let's pop over. Oh my god, that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> you guys almost killed me. <laughs> Wait, did you hear the music from your yes. face over there? Yes! Very, very loudly. 
<laughs> it was just some epic rock music, you know. To, yeah, to I was just like putting pumping. stuff, putting stuff in my storage system, and I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> I was like, is Code pranking me or something? <laughs> Not this time. Not yeah. Time. Then I recognized the music. I was like, ah, Gaia spirits. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Code Co wanted to fight it for the funsies. <laughs> yeah, why not, right? That's pretty fun. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, my, my heart is back to normal now. <laughs> I hope you're recording there, that. What's up? I have something for you. The oh, we got the music disc. disc. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, we really are going to hear it all the time. Yeah, dude. Oh, I can't wait to sneak up on people and just play this. It's so loud. It's so loud. I had to turn down my music, my sounds halfway through. <laughs> oh, I had it so high over on this side. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> it was so good. It's quite hilarious. <laughs> and uh, now that our heart is back to normal, <laughs> let me show you guys the sorting system. So these are all of the bulk stuff that I have. And I've also put in the most common things I get from the vault as well. I think eventually I'm going to have this entire wall as a storage drawers, but you know, I'll expand it as I need it. But I think we worked quite hard already today on our sorting system. I think it's about time we run a vault because you know, this is vault hunters and vaults are kind of a big important thing. So let's gear up. You guys like my new gear? Code gave me the bear head. And if you, if you look, look, look behind me, I have a little tail. So I'm like a bear fox man. Man bear fox. Man bear fox? But you'll notice this doesn't have a name. This doesn't have a name. This doesn't have a name. These have a name. So in the comments below, please tell me what you guys think I should call the helmet, the chest plate, and the trousers, or leggings as you call them in Minecraft. And I'll pick my favorite, and I shall name them, and I shall credit you guys in the next episode. Oh no, there's a hell. Hello? Hello? Hello. Are you recording? Well, I was recording, but you came at the very right time. Alright, Fuzzy, gonna... let's go. Everything ready? Hang All on. ready? Wait. Did you have a crystal? Did I give you a crystal? Yes. I'm so confused. Why have I got a crystal? I have no idea. Because maybe you were looking at one? Maybe. Never mind. Let's go. You did give me a crystal. That's the one with Afterlife, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. We're, we're going to find out now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this happens a lot. Yes, <laughs> yes. It, oh, it's chests and scrolls. Okay, I'm going to go straight forward. To the east. Go right. I'm going south. Make sure you're breaking all of the piles. Oh, I was like, why didn't I get poisoned? And it's because my pants have poison, poison immunity. immunity. Oh, nice. oh no, it's my hat. It's my my leprechaun hat has it. To be sure, to be sure. It's quite lucky. Filter to pick up and lock that. Right, so I've got five uh, pottery pieces, one bangle and one milky eye. Nice. A distinct lack of chests. It's because I've got them all, apparently. Okay, that's it. We are done with... Nice. All that for a single Beniatide. Oh, wow! What? There's like 12 million zombies here. Yeah, I got I got a ton there a minute ago. We're not, we're not crowded, are we? No, but it did something up. <laughs> what is happening? I blame you. Don't blame me, it's Rob's fault. Hey, Fuzzy. Bye, Fuzzy. Are you playing with yourself? It's a little bit. Water bucket go burr. I'm glad this is afterlife. It gives me a lot less anxiety. <laughs> I'm losing everything. Fuzzy, are you dead? No. Oh dear. Is it the voice mod playing up again? Oh no, there we go. You're uh, alive. Oh, I was looking at maps. I think there's a keybind thing. Ah. Wait, you can see the... You can't see the map. Oh, it shows you the way that you've come. Okay. Also a distinct so. lack of those... Uh, thingies. Um, oh, I've the, the, the found a village. Things. 
Oh, the ore piles. Yeah. Oh. Mega! Ah. Woo! That was scary. <laughs> ah, the loot is really bad in this one. This vault feels very crowded. Okay, I've got six more pottery shards. I have some stuff. Oh, that's that's all the pottery shards we need. Cool. Um, Can't find any the the chest to input. Um, let me see. I saw room. one earlier. Oh, nice. It's we don't need any more chests now. We just need the ore piles and some skeletons. And I have sixty-four skeleton spawn eggs, so we're fine as long as we do the ore piles. Okay, I shall search for the ore piles. Husks just sound disgusting. <laughs> That's racist. I don't understand why people don't use shaman, like just as they're running through the vault. Let's completely forget about it. It's just it's it's so much extra damage. <laughs> Plus, it it provides knockback like every second. Yeah. Okay, so, I probably should start using it. I just think it's. I honestly think it's one of the biggest sort of missed potentials. Yeah. Or like extra damage and stuff. There's nothing coming out of these ore piles. Not sure we're gonna make this one. I think we will. Nah, we've not got that much left. It just looks weird because we've finished the red scrolls. So as soon as we can find a a drop off point, then only the blue scrolls will come out. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Husk. That was uncalled for. I will be reporting you to HR. I mean, you did say you was disgusting. Well, not my fault he's disgusting. I would say that's a provoked attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four minutes. It's going to be close. But I think possible. Well, neither of us have got very much good loot, have we? No. So... I say we just risk it, and then if we die, we die. Yeah, why not? That's the worst that can happen. We need one more skeleton milky eye thing as well, don't we? Nope, done it. Okay, there's one more bangle. Yeah, Ooh. we're definitely not going to do it with the amount of bangles we need, actually. I'm very near the exit, though. I just got to the exit room. It's a shame, because if we'd done it, I think this would probably have been my level 60 volt. Nice. Right, I'm going to hop out because you're lower level, aren't you? Yeah. I hey, think 51. we got all of the good ones. Hey, grats. Uh, that was a disappointing vault, but they can't all be amazing. Uh, time to go back and put everything away, and it's going to be easier now because I have a starting system. And with that done, it is time to end today's episode, but not before we go through last week's episode comments and we name our two Eternals. So let me pop over here where I have put my Eternals. And the first one, I'm just using a random online choosy thingy. And the first one is Lord Assassin. Welcome to the Fuzzy Army. The irony of you being an assassin is not lost on me. And the next one is Corrupt Chimp YouTube. You're not a chimp, but welcome to the Fuzzy Army. And with that, it is time to end today's episode. So if you like this episode, please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what I should do in the next episode or any cool things that you can think of that we might be able to do, especially pranks. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.